welcome everybody. Uh, what am I doing today? I am running a blue bowl with a silicone mat in the bottom of it uh, with Washington Beach Gold or Cake Disappointment Black Sand and Beach Gold. Um, I think silicone, honestly, I believe is an absolute game changer in gold recovery. Um, so let me explain. I'm not going to waste your time. It's not a joke. But let me set this up for you so everybody's kind of on the same page. Um, I've been playing with this silicone sluice box mat idea for over a year now. And I have all kinds of videos on my channel of me testing and trying and making and always improving for the last year. So when I started I had absolutely no idea that gold would stick to silicone or it didn't like to slide on it, however you want to put it, it just doesn't. So, and there's many, many theories, or a couple different theories out there about it. One is, is gold and silicone are both hydrophobic, which means it repels water, and it causes a friction when that happens. The other one is, is that silicone is super soft. And when you take a soft object like that and you put gold against it, it doesn't want to slide on it, it causes friction. So I'm no scientist, I'm no fluid dynamic guy, whatever, but all I know is I found out from just trying to make a simple sluice box mat for the DIY guy that gold will actually stick to silicone. So let's talk about the Cape Disappointment Gold. If you've never been there, it is the finest gold you will ever see. And it's extremely hard to get out of the black sand because the gold and the black sand are so close to the same weight. And we all know gold recovery up until probably this point is all designed on weight, fluid dynamics, all that good stuff. But anyway, if the gold, you put it in the blue bowl, and if you saw my last video, the gold stays to the outside, it doesn't really go to the center. Um, this one isn't quite going to be quite as dramatic, but... Let's just see. I bet you I end up with a whole bunch of gold around the outside edge of the blue bowl. So anyway, I'm going to weigh it. And since I can't probably get every single speck out of this black sand from Cape Disappointment, we're going to do it by weight. Because I don't know anything that will get every speck of gold the first time through. Unless you're going to pan it one tablespoon at a time. And even that's difficult. So let me get this going for you. I don't want to bore you, but... I think you'll find this pretty dang cool. I sure do. Um, so let me get some gold and we'll weigh it up and we'll continue on. Okay, so this is our material. That is some concentrates from a trip I made to Cape Disappointment last year in the spring. And yeah, the videos are on my channel. This is a vial of gold that I got from Cape Disappointment. It ain't even, I don't know if you call it gold, it's more like dust. So anyway, let's put this on here. Zero grams. So how much gold should we add to this? I don't have ounces, I'm not going to do that. But, let's make it interesting. Let's get, try and go, uh, try and go a gram of gold. And we know this has probably got, I don't know, millions of specks of gold to get a gram. There is some black sand in that though. A little bit. Uh oh, I went way too far now. Oh well, we got 2.714 grams of gold. I didn't really want to do that, but I wasn't paying attention. 2.714. Seven, one, oh, it's going back and forth. One, four, one, five. Okay, 2.723. Now, I don't expect to get every speck of gold, but we'll run it through the blue bowl and see what we get. That is some highly concentrated material. So, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to dump it in here. 
You can see that. And I'll stir that in. And we'll get the blue bowl all set up. And we'll start running. Okay, there's the blue bowl with the silicone mat in it. <laughs> if you haven't seen the video yet, I did do a complete video on how to make this silicone mat. I do have a little bit of sand around the edge here uh, where my silicone is. But it's going to be alright. We're not going to worry about it. Um, it's where it's starting to come away from the side there. Anyway, it's just caulked in there. So let's get this thing fired up and we'll move on. We got that. We got our material all mixed in. So what I'm going to do is try and put a layer of gold right along the outside edge. So the gold, the black sand, and the gold has got to cross across that mat to get out. Um, and we'll move on from there. But I'm going to do things with this blue bowl that you would never do with, uh, you know, regular blue bowl without the mat in here. Um, if you turn this thing all the way up to the brim, you would definitely blow all your gold right out down the hole. So let's just go ahead and we'll get started and turn this thing on. Okay, it's been, oh gosh, two minutes, maybe. But what I want you to notice is, as the gold move or the black sand goes in, it leaves trails of gold. And I don't know if you can see that. The black sand moves along, and as it moves, the gold drops out and gets stuck to the mat. This might be a little bit more defined when I get it up and going, but we're running oh less than an inch from the top of the bowl. And we've got gold clear out here at the edge. Okay? All right, we'll let that run down. I'll be back. Okay, we are going to add in some more material. Around the outside edge, as near as we can get it. So I hope you can, I can illustrate this and this camera will pick it up. You can see the gold moving in the black sand. But as soon as it works its way down to the mat, it sticks to it and they'll go and the sand moves on off. You can see those little lines of gold there. That's sand down there. Kind of hard to pick out the blonde sand and the gold. But you can see it moving. Okay. Okay, we're running it down. But look where the sand's moving away and it's leaving a big thick line of gold there finding a place to rest. I still got gold clear out on the edge. Okay, I want to do want to mention, you know, I'd probably never do this if I was actually trying to catch all the gold and doing an actual clean out. I would probably suck up a lot of this gold. Um, in between runs obviously that would you know definitely cut down on the loss but just for this little experiment I'm gonna leave it all in there and yeah we'll just run it all and see how much is left in the bowl or in the mat and at the end when I clean out the final bit I am going to take the water level all the way up to the top completely full so we will do that and we will see what happens. We're getting right there. Um, look at the line of gold out above and look how much is not around the cone. That's what I find really unique. Okay, I'm holding it in the hand, my hands or the camera in my hand so I can uh, get a better picture for you. But let's just turn this thing up. And up we come and see if we can see the gold moving. Some will, of course. And this is where I'm going to lose some of my gold. I know there's a pile around the cone right over there sitting on top of the black sand. We are coming up. 
almost to the top. And we still got gold all the way around the outer edge. I'm just going to blow out the rest of that black sand. Almost there. And some of my gold. But I know where it is. We're almost to the top. We are at the top of the bowl. It's going to start spilling over here. But look where the gold stand. You can't do that with a regular blue bowl. There ain't no way. Ain't no way. It'll all be around that cone, and I have very little gold around that cone. There is some, but most of it stayed out of way. Yeah, we are at the top of the bowl. Sorry for my camera work, but I just want you to see that. And the gold is staying there, and we are at the top, still cleaning out. Okay, let me get my snuffer bottle, and we'll clean this, get this gold out of here. Okay, time to get the gold out of here. Now, when I say stuck to silicone, I don't mean it's not, you can't move it. Because I can take my snuffer bottle and move it right along, and then suck it up. So I'm going to get this out of here, and it's going to take me a bit. Or use a, a, a stiff brush and move it around. But yeah, this is going to take me a bit to get out of here, and then we'll weigh it up, see what the results are. Okay, I had to reshoot this part of the video. I weighed this up, and when I was filming it, and yeah, I had to go back and look at the front of the video and realize something went haywire with the scale. So I apologize for that in the very beginning, but I mean it's close to the same amount pile of gold I had in the beginning, uh, minus a little less black sand. So anyway, so if the silicone mat in the bottom of a blue bowl holds on to the gold, wouldn't the sluice box be the same? Um, my experience is yes, and like I said before, I got a year's worth of testing on my channel if you want to check it out. So how do you get a silicone sluice box mat? You got two choices right now, really. Well, maybe three. Um, you can either make your own mold and follow my directions on how to make it. Um, there's lots of ideas out there. Lots of people have done it. I've got some ideas on how I made my own molds. Or you can get one of my 3D printed molds on eBay that I have. Um, the high-low V mat seems to be working pretty dang good for the beach gold and the fine gold. Um, but I've got several different designs. Like I said, check out my videos if you want. Um, so anyway, that's all I got for you. Or if you got a 3D printer, you can print your own and you're in like Flynn, right? So anyway, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date on what's happening with the silicone mats and stuff. Um, Please leave me a comment. I really appreciate them. I'd like to know what you guys think. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye now.